Wait, is this the diameter? Isn't that's right, right? Hey you guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyra and this is Ace. <laughs> so for today's video, as you can tell by the title also, um, I have me some Trifolia moss poles. So I really want to go ahead and repot and stake up my Philodendron Silver Sword on this bad boy today. I'm so excited. For some reason, I have been procrastinating on this, but we're going to get it done today. And yeah, I'm going to just show you guys my whole process of how I get this done. So if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe down below. Everything mentioned in this video will be listed in the description box. And yeah, stay tuned for more. Okay, so I have my plant here, and how gorgeous is this new leaf, you guys? Let me show you. How gorgeous is this leaf? This is the newest leaf that was unfurling in my plant tour video I recently posted. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave it in the cards above and also link it down in the description box. But yeah, I showed this leaf when it was freshly unfurling, and now it's mostly fully hardened off but how pretty is she um i'm gonna try to <laughs> get it all in the frame here but yeah here she is so here is the game plan for this plant i'm going to take it out of this nursery pot because this is the pot i bought it in and if i don't like how the roots look in here I may be downsizing the pot and I'll probably for sure be using fresh soil today to go ahead and pot this up for the winter. I also did not, I have not used any of this, um, the um, pest control granules in this. I've only been using like a neem oil spray on the leaves and I'm misting a little bit on the um, soil, but I am kind of concern about pests on this plant i can show you guys in a separate clip but it's kind of like i don't know i don't have too much knowledge on the plant pest thing i've done a cup of research on a couple of pests but i'm not well um versed in that area <laughs> I don't really I don't fully understand the pest thing just yet, but I do know I want to prevent them, so that's why I'm doing this. So yeah, there's definitely something eating at the leaves. I think it's spider mites, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm sure one of you guys can tell me in the um down in the comments once you see the clips. But yeah, I'm not fully understanding what is attacking this plant, but I really want to go ahead and get rid of it obviously <laughs> and yes let's go ahead and get started okay so here we have here some fresh soil i have this little terracotta pot i can move it from this to this it looks to be about the same like um what is this diameter <laughs> Wait, is this the diameter? Isn't that's right, right? The radius is from here to here, and the diameter is all the way across. Come on, geometry. Ah! <laughs> Anyways, this looks to be the same. Oh my god, if I'm wrong, I'm gonna cut that out. So it seems uh, uh, Ace, what are you doing? Okay, so it seems to be like a little bit similar in size, but Depending on how the roots look, I'll, you know, determine how much soil I want to put in this. I'm going to put it in this. I think I'm going to put it in terracotta anyway for the winter. So that way I'm minimizing the risk of root rot as much as possible. So I'm nervous, actually. I'm, I have not looked at the roots of this plant since buying it. I've just really been looking at the leaves. <laughs> so I have not... I do not know what we're about to find in this in this soil. Um, I want to cut it off of this bamboo stake first. I need to grab some scissors. One second. Okay. 
feel? How are we feeling, you guys? How do we feel? I think <laughs> I think what we're going to do is downsize the pot for sure. I want to take off this soil for sure. Yeah, there's little bugs crawling around in the soil. Okay, so I went and got my gloves for this and also my cute little trowel. Is this a trowel? Anyways, um, but yeah, I just don't feel like getting dirt caught all underneath my nails. <laughs> But um, here, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. So here we have the roots <laughs> or what's left of the roots on my silver sword. I have my pot here with ah! <laughs> with the trifolia moss pole already in it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start repotting this plant. is how the plant is looking up against this trifolia moss pole and yeah I'm so happy I did this oh and the last thing I want to do to this plant today actually is sprinkle in some of this pest control in the soil so I'm gonna give this plant a couple of days to settle in its new pot for the winter and go ahead get this trifolia moss pole moist and speaking of the moss pole i do um have a couple of things that came with it so that it comes with this tiny cute little funnel to go on top for when you water the moss pole the poles also come with um plant velcro like how convenient is that like trifolia literally has thought of everything for me so yeah i've really been pleased with my purchase of these trifolia poles and i definitely recommend any of you guys to go purchase one for one of your climbing plants so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this video by watering the moss pole if you've made it this far into the video thank you again so much for watching stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button down below leave a like and a comment and yeah see you in the next video later So 
I just wanted to end off this video with showing you guys the whole thing here. It did take me about two full bottles of this water to get the moss pole soaked. But now it is fully soaked and yeah. So this is just, I guess, the final look of the plant. I do usually have it turned towards the light. I just have it facing forward, obviously, for the video.